Gentlemen and lady, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm back with another deck review and I actually waited for this one for over two months because I think now Evergild is finally done nerfing the Emperor's Children. There were like four or five nerfs now. This one was sent in by a gentleman called Verdi. He sent me, as you can see on the screen, a Lucius deck and what he basically said two months ago, note that, that uh, he got to top 50 with something like this back then i guess three months ago but now he means when he sent me the request two months ago he had trouble climbing that anymore because lucy's lost so much burst potential etc etc a lot of cards got nerfed like sun killers qualum and so on so that was two months ago now as mentioned i think emperor children are finally in the state they are supposed to be we are not gonna see any more nerfs maybe even buffs now i don't know and i'm gonna see what i can do about this stack if we can still make empress children especially loses here 30 hp face bash for lord work on high terra and i'd say first of all let's put out the trash out of the stack so i don't think innate brilliance is really worth it anymore a brilliant side is simply better and more versatile then Infiltration Mission is not really needed, it's too... how to say it, it's, it's too tech. It's not a bad card, I love Infiltration Mission, many decks, but not in a deck like this. This is supposed to be an aggro deck, I guess. Um, then Phoenix Power Spear, this isn't worth it too, in my opinion, simply because we have Pelotine Blades. It's, it's a troop which does simply the same effect. And you get a body on the board, of course it costs more, but whatever. Uh, the Chilch Engine is a weird choice, I don't know what he has. Is Lucy's just built-in draw, so I don't like putting in these kind of cards inside there. I think Sabian Bikes are still fine, especially Lucy's, so you can kill something with 6 HP if you have. These on Perfection, Lester Squad is also still fine, just to trigger the Perfection. And 4 Mind Network is okay. Larian Cacophony, um, I won't play these, although in Lucius, again, I kind of agree to play them. They are good for tempo plays, although they are understated and the effect is kind of random, but it can still stall the uh, board for one turn, or actually, you know what, maybe I'm gonna keep them, we'll see, because Blade of the Lair, we're gonna keep it in this deck as well, and I want to play the old combo with it. I just don't want to focus my deck fully on the fucking Lair Blade combo, I just want to put it in as a gimmick, because Evergild! Totally nerfed Galvin Strike and it's actual garbage now. You're better off running Burning of Bot now in your Emperor's Children deck because this is utter fucking trash. It's only 2 to 3 damage for 5 on perfection, so you need to perfect that. Otherwise, it's a, actually a worse Burning of Bot. So just play Burning of Bot, it costs one less and always does the same. So let's put out these. Let's play 1 Pelotine Blades because the effects of these don't really stack. You got plus 1 attack, but first strike is first strike. I like Corrin simply because of the perfection. Uh, 1 Cacophony Commander. Uh, Let's not play Cacophony Commander, I'm gonna keep, keep to the lair in Cacophony, because we're gonna have a lot of 6 drops here. Uh, Phoenix Terminators, I think they are fine, maybe just one off, because, yeah, one, one, I, I think it's a one off red better. And uh, Predator Quellum doesn't work any more that great, uh, one Sex Demon, one Luminal should be fine. Luminal, mm, yeah, comes in handy, we'll see. So, now let's put in the stuff which I want to see here. I'm just gonna scroll through the collection here real quick. Cold Little Reserves is pretty good still to trigger perfection, but yeah. I don't know, I don't like it too much anymore simply because you basically spend two more energy to generate a card. It's, yeah, it, maybe in vehicle decks, like with Fulgrim. If you wanna play with Fulgrim now, you can play Cold Little Reserves. Here, I will skip it, but I really want Unrestrained Cruelty and I want Strength from Pain. I think we will really need that healing. And Rostrum Cruelty is just, again, pretty good in Lucius. 3 damage in 3 instances and a little heal. Uh, again, I'm gonna play Larry Cacophony. Resplendent Conflave is also a very juicy card, but I don't think we can afford running too much draw here. And again, as I know my luck, I will always draw Drilling Side from Resplendent Conclave, so I'm just gonna play the Larry Cacophony here in the 4th spot. Blade of the Lair, as mentioned, uh, Peter Alessio is also not bad, but he just doesn't really work in our game plan here, kinda. So, skill unmatched. Verdi also talked about this card in his message. He said that it also got nerfed and he lost all his burst potential. While I agree this card got actually really badly nerfed because now it's 5 damage for 5 without any additional effect and you actually have to play it on perfection. Otherwise, it's 4 damage, 5 energy. That's horrible. So, even though it kind of fits Lucy's, I'm not gonna play it. Also, not gonna play Flawless Execution. Um, Phoenix Terminus, I'm gonna play one copy, I think, as well. Uh, Cacophony Commander, I just don't like them, I don't know. I, I, 
Honestly, I'm just not playing them out of spite because I fucking hate this card. I think it should be deleted. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we could play Opto Equitum though because it will add some more burst potential to our deck and I don't think it's too bad. Maybe let's run two. With Thrilling Side, we can check it out a little bit earlier even. And now let's get into some more cards. I would like some more uh, triggers for perfection and I don't think that we can play Void Engagement. We're gonna play something like Ravish City instead maybe. We will see. For now, uh, we don't need any of these cards. We got uh, Informant Network, so from Chaos, I don't think I have anything else particular in mind. Yeah, I was talking about Burning of Bot instead of Galvin Strike, but wait for it. We're gonna play the old Layer Blade combo. I think it's uh, still a good call. So let's add a second Drilling Site for now. So again, here from the Mechanic, I only want the Vulture Assault. We're gonna play it together with Civilians, so that we can clear the board. And I'm actually going to use the little civilians here. I don't think we need the whole 6 damage thing. Yeah, we're not going to focus on the combo too much, but it's still going to be neat with the layer blade, I think. So, I want a second Arbor Slider for sure. Then, Displaced Civilians and Ravage City are kind of the cards I'm looking to play here. And I think that is about it, so that means we will need to scrap a couple more cards for that. Again, not going to play Darkening Skies. The combo is too expensive. We will have a nice Borky here for 4 energy. It won't kill everything as efficiently as the old combo, but still, it's again cheaper and we can combo it a little bit. So, let's see what we need. We need to get rid of some 3 drops, maybe. I want another Sun Killer, to be honest. I wanted two of these bad boys, because I still like them. I mean, they're a bit like that 7 energy offensive war troop. It's on perfection, sure, but Lucius kind of wants perfection. So, yeah, let's see. Maybe let's get rid of Optio. It's uh, it dies to uh, like yeah, anything with ordinance. Then let's see. As mentioned, I want the displaced civilians. I want a second sun killer to be honest, because as mentioned, I still think it's a good card. And with displaced civilians, in some situations, we will be able to use them for simply uh, perfection triggers because they cost one energy. So I think overall they are now kind of better than the old combo with darkening skies. So. I think we need the chip damage thingies here. But again, do I need more perfection triggers here? I think I do, gentlemen. I think I do. Maybe I should scrap the Larian Cacophony for Ravaged City. But do I really want to skip that? I don't know. Curve looks a little bit off, so it'll be hard to do that. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe with some energy manipulation we can do that. I mean, I can change the deck in the process anyway. We're also not having that much removal. We have Sex Demon on Luminal. I could actually also just play double Luminal instead of the Sex Demon because the Sex Demon can cuck me a little bit. Although the maintenance could come in handy late game because if we have an empty hand, it will be quite difficult to trigger perfection if we don't have enough card to spend energy on. Uh, so Sex Demon might actually be good here, right? Maybe instead of Luminal. I could drop one Luminal because it's, it's so powerful though. Ah, uh, tough decision, gentlemen. Tough decision, not gonna lie. So, I could drop the Luminal. I could drop Sex Demon, and I could go full ham without any hard removal with uh, these the cards I have here. Should I do it? Let's give it a try. It's still kind of a, like a rush deck. Simply, we have no reach, but yeah, well, let's give it a try, right? And as mentioned, I'm gonna play Ravaged City because I think Wooding Agent is not gonna hit, and this will just have a little bit more utility. So, Gentlemen, this is, should be my first take on the Lucius deck after all those nerfs. We're still going to play the combo. We have a good amount of cycle, a good amount of early game. Kind of lacking on the late game, but well, 4 or 6 energy cards. Maybe we can make something happen. We will see. I would say let's jump into some games and see how it goes. Currently, I'm in high terror, almost 4k. That's like, yeah, in the bottom of the top 50. Chilling out. Let's see how it goes. And the pain first game. Okay, here we definitely need our displaced civilian combo. Let's see. This is looking good. Um, I'm even gonna keep the. Com Although apothecary can kind of come in late game, I think. Yeah, this is better. I drink to my impending triumph. Let's see how it goes. If my aggro game plan fails, then I will probably switch back to luminal because I mentioned this is a very good card. And. Yeah, let's see. Please, no slow Nash for corn because you can kill it. Well, too bad. Ah. 
He decides not to do it though. Holy moly. Yeah. Five fourth roll card for free energy. Pretty cool. That's what we like to see. Syrian jet bikes. That's nice though. Um let's do Ravaged City first. I could also strength from pain here, I guess. It heals for four though, I'm gonna keep it for now. Let's establish something on the board. Yeah, I mean that's a 30 HP warlord. We should do well against that as an aggro warlord, but oh man. Okay, he just has to clear it for four. I'm totally fine with that, not gonna lie. Um Nothing to play here, unfortunately. So let's draw with our ability. Here's Wolchwick Assault and displace civilians. And let's just heal up here. Perfection goes to waste, but as I mentioned, I think we kind of need the HP in any matchup. And next turn I can sun kill this. Alright, that's fine. That's also totally fine. No, the sun killers just need to hit, you know? Sun killers just need to hit. They do. And I'm gonna attack here. Sun killers, yeah. I'm probably gonna die, but whatever. If I was him, I would just trade an ability. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, that's pretty bad, not gonna lie. It messes with my gameplay a lot, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw another card here and stun Dude Pain, I think. Yeah, next time we can maybe trade here or displace civilians into Woodrick's Assault. Thanks to without Lair Blade, but we didn't draw it yet. And I mean Palpatine Blades, yeah, they're still gonna be good here. Yeah, that's fine. So let's Palpatine Blades. Let's do that. And let's Unrestrained Cruelty on this. Again, Perfection went to waste a little bit. But it's fine. Wish I got Layer Blade. Layer blade. So I can start doing the combo, but oh well. That's looking grim, not gonna lie. So let's see. Displace civilians, these spawn three guys. It's gonna. Uh, this is gonna proc once and then. Uh, five more times, so I need one more damage on that shit. God damn it. I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna play Displaced Civilians. Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, then Vultrix Assault. Then I'm gonna Corin this shit here. This should do put this on like 2 HP or 1, I think. Yeah, on 1. Now we Corin. Go to 3 attack. And smack. Okay, pretty good. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, there's no way the aggro game plan doesn't seem to work here, to be honest, so... Yeah, the troop spam is real. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's ravage city first. Larian Cacophony, how good is that? That's okay, I guess. Let's do Informant Network. Let's do this. Let's draw another card. Into Cacophony. Alright. Still no layer blade inside. But I still got one charge of my combo here. Okay. Also okay. 
And nothing else. Alright. Unrestrained cruelty. Unrestrained cruelty. So, let's draw first. Syrian jet bikes. That's also pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's do the following. Let's do this. Let's play these. Oh, God damn it. I don't want to do that. Missing so much perfections here. I also kind of want to draw. But we kind of need to get here somewhere. So let's do this. Let's do this. Um, and face with the three damage. But again, I have no reach whatsoever. I don't know if I will be able to, to sustain this guy. But he doesn't seem to run any late game troops either. Man, Dupain is actually a pain. I know the puns will be used, but fuck me. Oh my fucking god, ecology. Comedius, you're really fucking late, bruv. And he has conning us. That's pretty good, though. Let's do this. And let's do this. Into Kononos. Give everyone some Marks of Chaos. And this is gonna die, so we go face with this one. God damn, it's so unlucky with the Marks of Chaos here. On the lesser squad on, on, on Kononos. And here's a disconnect. Is it really gonna end like this? I mean, the game's not decided yet. Not gonna lie. Although there's still no layer blade inside. Uh, somewhere at the bottom of my deck. But he really needs to ability here on this dude. And I really need my layer blade. Maybe we could run something like uh, Fury of Slanesh. I don't know. Gate commander. Holy fuck. You are the big guys. Alright. Sun killers, gentlemen. Let's draw a card first. Cacophony. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta, I gotta hit the <laughs> 25% here, I suppose. Oh, not even. Fucking Christ. This is so bad. I can't perfection here. Let's just keep it like that. He, he might kill me even. Fucking Christ. I really need the second part of my combo here, otherwise I'm done. So let's just keep it like this. Yeah, I don't know, but that layer blade is <laughs> really fucking bad. <laughs> Against fucking do pain! Could have also killed the front line, but honestly at this point I need to keep my health going. Uh, why not use your ability on that? Because you play another dude, I see. So, Vultrix Assault or Bust. That's not it. Phoenix Terminators, that's not it either. And yeah, that's GG. I don't think I can do anything else here. I could do this, I guess. But does it buy me some time? He has like... Uh, 13, 17. Yeah, it buys me one turn. Yeah, when the cards don't come in the right order. It's not that great at all. He actually attacked with the disoriented dude. Fucking Christ. Ah, yeah, he has blade. <laughs> Fuck. Vultrix Assault and Vultrix Assault. Is it enough, though? It isn't. I can't trigger it enough. God damn it. Yeah. Too bad. Too many stats. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit unlucky, though. Not gonna lie. A little bit. It was a little bit unlucky, let's be honest. A little bit. Uh, the cards really didn't come in the right order. Maybe I need more draw. I don't think card removal would have really saved me. And the marks of chaos were so bad on the troops I had. But I'd say let's go on to the next one. Maybe it's not going to be fucking Dupain. So let's do some adjustments on the deck. I don't think the aggro thing really works. So I'm just going to scrap strength from pain. Not 
that great actually, and I'm gonna scrap the Larian Cacophony. I don't want to say it, but I think we will actually have to run Cacophony Commander. Uh, I just don't want it to... I really don't want it, but fuck it. Let's play one Cacophony Commander. Then, let's play uh, Luminals and a Sex Demon. For some nice swings. Because, as I mentioned in the first game, if the aggro thing doesn't really work out, we'll have to find some other way to win. And I guess with some swings it will be better. So let's try this now and after the next game. Carbonger. Mm. Um, do I need informant network here? Not necessarily early game, right? I drink to my uh, double losses squad. Dueling side. I think I'm still gonna draw first though. Because I want to have some kind of hand here. He plays a mission with Cabanda. Okay. So, can I get not Corn or Slanesh for once, please? Damn it. Keeps giving me Slanesh. I still need to face bash him when I can, though. Okay. Luminal. I have to get rid of that, unfortunately. Big guy. He would fit into that again. Do I play mission on Cabanda? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, that's fine. Let's hope the Sun Killers hit here. They do indeed. I'm gonna take some damage, but it's not that relevant. Oh, by the way, I need to... Okay, face and... Demon. Uh-huh. Uh, sure. Let's do Phoenix Terminators. And there's a good top deck. Go face again. If he does a sneak attack on this, I'm just going to uh, play Palatine Blades. Alva Slider into the Lester squad. Okay. He does. Okay, do we. Can we, can we do something cool here? Oh, uh, seven, eight, nine. This is a problem, though. Not gonna lie. If he has a mutation and is gonna heal himself, it's gonna be so fucking annoying. But let's see. Oh, fuck. Uh, if he has mutations and heals himself, I'm gonna be in a bad spot, but... This is the play regardless, right? So we have eight. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Because now Cabanda can't attack unless he heals. And for that he needs mutations. He didn't generate any mutations, he needs some main deck mutations. Path of Flood. Fucking hell. Off the top, actually. Oh, he mutates the wrong one. Doesn't he? Why didn't he mutate the other one twice? Okay, whatever. I would have mutated the this guy twice. Okay, whatever. Uh, wouldn't have saved him anyway, I guess, unless he got something like um, what's it called? Something like a uh, front line. But there's Luis's squad. Hey, he could have sneaked it, sneak attacked that. I don't know. Okay, second game goes to us. At least against another Aggro Warlord. Let's jump into another one. Mori. That's actually a bad matchup. Mori is really good against Lucius, even before his nerfs. Uh, do I need Armistrain Cruelty here? Not really, do I? 
I need stuff on the board. Early game, but yeah. Mori is going to be really tough. If it's a classic ability spam control deck. Yeah, that's I not a good hand. To my triumph. Can you fight an enemy that kills you not a good hand at all, but at least you got the last squad. You reap what you sow. Alright, ability. Let's play the Luesta squad. Corn is completely fine. Let's bash while we have three attack. Another one on me, that sucks. Um, no way to trigger perfection here. Also sucks. So let's go face. With the 5 attack, dude. Leech life. God damn it. Alright. Palatine Blades. Yeah, that's something, but... Problem is... Problem is, gentlemen... He doesn't have to touch me to deal that much damage to me, and he can control the board way too easy. We'll see what we can do, though. Yeah. Phoenix Terminator is gonna be good here. I'm gonna shield myself from one of the uh, poison instances. But yeah, again, I have no choice but to go face. Because. Not gonna win the long game against him either. I have to try to burst him down before he bursts me down. Oh well. It is as it is. Okay. Oh my god. Sun killers. Let's do it like this. Oh, the effect from the... Dude? Still here. Yeah, again, I have to face bash. I have no choice. And the civilians aren't too bad here either. Oh, he has another type of melody. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Against Morty, not much of a chance. So, can I draw somehow? I can't. That's it! And second one goes to Morty. But yeah, that was even a um, very bad matchup, even when Lucius was the, really the meta, when he was like at this uh, prime use rate after the release of Empress Children. So yeah, not really winnable. Let's go into the next one. Branson, god damn it, what's up? Why is everyone suddenly playing all these counters? This is so bullshit. Branson also has been. <laughs> Fuck me, man. I mean, without any reach, this is actually unfucking winnable. God damn it, dude. Didn't see Branson or Morty in ages. Come the fuck on, man. Alright, let's get rid of that. And next time I'm probably gonna go Lair Blade. Finally have it in my starting hand, but again, this matchup is so fucking unwinnable. Uh -huh. Okay. Was it really worth it though? Hmm. I don't knuff. Um, should I Lair Blade? I'm gonna draw instead. I don't have anything to play. Let's do Rever City just so we can count buff next turn and let's keep one Arbus Lighter. And face. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Alright, let's do Lair Blade. Let's start punching. Next turn! Next turn. I can jet bikes into Informa Network. Yeah, that's, that, that's not achieved. Oh my god. I'm just gonna Vulturex Assault here. Honestly. I'm just gonna get some damages then, right? Because, uh, well, come on, there's so much stealth here. Yeah. Seven damage swing, not bad, but we're still even on health. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. It feels kind of bad, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Oh well, 4 health is a little bit problematic, not gonna lie. Let's do the following. Let's do the following. I don't think the tempo... Um... Fourth Covenant was a good decision, but oh well. Who am I to judge? Alright. What do we have here? Let's Ravage City into Draw. Ooh, Luminal. So this is gonna die. Gonna give me another instance of damage. And we go here. Let's put some pressure on. Not gonna be able to use Luminal's Perfection next turn because I think I'm out of one energy cards, but oh well. Ah, oh, that sucks balls. But Telling Siphon is actually fine. Alright, he's down to six. Not swinging with that one. <sighs> I just need another Vulturex Assault, honestly. But I'm gonna use the Perfection here, not gonna lie. Oh my god, if the Luminal hits that shit, I'm gonna be really mad. But I have to risk it, simply because I want to swing in. Oh, perfect. Actually, perfect. Let's swing in. Damn! Sometimes lucky. Lair Blade on curve. Luminal doing work. That's not so good though. <laughs> That's not so good though. He's gonna kill the uh, the dude. Good play. But honestly I just need to be able to kill off one civilian. And I'll still have lethal. Oh, okay. So, should I just draw cruelty stun? That's not lethal. I'm one off. Ultrix assault. Hmm, okay, I see. Let's do it like this, actually. Let's do it like this. So, I don't have any... I have one more civilian, I think. Yeah. For the Watchbox Assault combo. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter, though. Ooh, that was actually a really good counter to uh, Lucius, but he had some questionable plays and I was quite lucky, so this one goes to us. Pretty good. And I'd say let's do another one. Abaddon is our last opponent for today. Not the best, not the worst matchup. Um, gonna mulligan the 
higher drops. If it's a planetary invasion deck, I will really, really need my Cacophony Commander. In case I won't be able to kill this guy before oh, he does his thing, I hear he I guess. I don't like him in the starting hand, but oh well. So we have the board clear. Uh, this is a little bit of a slower matchup at least. So let's see how it goes. Lead the spear tip. So yeah, yeah that's, that's very likely. Uh, um, one of those cancer decks with planetary invasion. Luminal. Let's draw again. I'm gonna keep the Albus Slider to trigger perfection. If he let least the spear tip in an Abaddon deck, I think that's actually one of those decks. Like you got Molochrist on seven energy now. Alright, um, we're going to probably fill our hand here, because I don't have anything to play. I don't have anything to play. Sergeant Corwin next turn though, so yeah, I'm gonna keep the Alba Sliders, I obviously don't wanna cycle them here with a full hand, it makes no sense whatsoever. Could play something like Resplendent Conclave in this deck, but again, it's just gonna hit the drilling sites all the time. Okay, what's this? The Grimfall. Okay. Let's stun him. Larry Blade still not in sight. So one out of five games it was actually... I was actually able to play it on curve despite drawing this game a lot. But, uh, got it. No drilling site either for Sex Demon. That would be great. But not happening. Oh well. Let's Kako here. Um, can't trade here, so. But I kinda need to. That's the problem. If you play something with Dropper, it's gonna get flanked and you can kill that maybe. Uh, but I don't want to. Not yet. Let's go face. And next turn I can Sex Demon. Next turn I can Sex Demon. Also got the civilians into Assault combo. Gotta keep that in mind, just have to calculate it properly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's perfectly fine. We have the combo going here, so let's do Displace Civilians. Let's do the Vulturex Assault. And Syrian Jet Bikes to kill that. If I'm not mistaken, it should be actually exactly on 3 HP. Alright, the next turn we can Luminal if he plays something big. So I think from here on we're gonna have a pretty good time. With Flare Blade this would have been even better, but oh well. It is as it is, gentlemen. It is as it is. And yeah, as you see, it's actually, from my perspective, better to play... Um, what's it called? Let's play civilians instead of Dark Knight's guys now, simply because you can much easier combo that. And as you saw the game before, you can also use the civilians to trigger perfection. Furious shooting. Sure. So he doesn't have Mellow Curse on 7. I think he played the 5 energy dude on 4 and then it reduced. Uh, I don't remember the name. The other legendary dude. Anyway, um, he plays what engagements and all that shit, so I'm pretty sure it's still the planetary patient deck. Fuck me, please. I'm an idiot, but whatever. One cut, one kill. That was such a waste, holy fuck, but I didn't notice he played Revered City. Oh fuck, didn't pay attention. Still fine. If he plays one big guy now, I can Illuminal it still. 
Rush the weak, that sucks. And still going face. Monkey, go face. I'm still gonna Luminal here because it's very good tempo. I think. Are we Sex Demon? Nine energy. We have to keep in mind he maybe has the finisher in hand, that's why he's still face bashing me like the animal he is. Um, it's gonna put me on four maintenance. It's actually not bad because of Phoenix Terminus and all that, so I'm gonna do that. Let's do it. I think it's the right play here. I don't wanna waste a luminal on that. I'm gonna be a little bit greedy, you know. Yeah, it's a planetary invasion. Uh, Jesus Christ, and all that off the top. Malloc. That's why you play only one. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Let's at least clear this bitch here. Don't have lethal. Man, this is so fun. Shittiest possible early game. Yeah. I'm looking for a fine duel. Oh, losing to Retardi 84. Oh well. Bad ending to this video, but as you see, uh, yeah, he took quite a hit. He took quite a hit, but of course, uh, you kind of also have to get the right cards here in order to play it. This would be the deck I would play eventually. You kind of... it's missing something on the fall spot, not gonna lie. So maybe you want to play Resplendent Conclave instead of maybe... I don't even know what you can scrap here, but I feel like you need Cacophony Commander with all those two pains around, like you saw the first game, it was unwinnable. And yeah, if you don't get the cards right, you're gonna have a really bad time. If you get them right, it's still a decent deck, but definitely nothing <laughs> that it was before. I don't know, some of these nerfs were really not that justified, it was just, again, playing for Fulgrim since it was just like before the Emperor's Children rotation, everyone paying for Lucius since. And now we have this. Oh well, it is as it is, gentlemen. Murdy, I hope this helps you a little bit, maybe. Even if you don't want to copy the deck one by one, you can still have an idea what to play now and what not, how the cards function, what's good, what's bad. And I hope you guys out there enjoyed the video. Leave a comment how you think this deck would function a little bit better. And of course, if you want me to review your deck, send me a message on Discord and maybe I will look into it. I'm not gonna guarantee it because I have a bunch and I can't do videos every day right now. So anyway, this should be it for today and I hope to see you guys around next time. Peace.